In this video, I'm gonna use this chemical cleaner to clean the intake valves of my engine. We're gonna have a look at the intake valves to see what they look like before and after the clean, and also a power figure before and after the clean. The reason why my engine's valves are covered in carbon is because my engine has direct injection. And one of the downsides of direct injection is the valves get covered in carbon as there's no fuel being sprayed on the valves to give them a clean. I've already tried a hydrogen treatment to clean the valves. That didn't really work very well. It improved the overall performance of my engine, but the valves were still really clogged up with carbon. There's a link in the description to that video. This time I'm gonna use this chemical, which is supposed to be the best chemical on the market to clean the valves, or at least one of the best chemicals on the market. So let's see how it gets on. Make sure your engine is properly up to temperature. Your oil and water should be around 90 degrees Celsius. Locate a suitable place to squirt the cleaner into. It must be after the mass airflow sensor, also known as the MAF sensor, as these sensors are very sensitive and the cleaner may damage it. I'm going to remove my sensor and use this hole as this seems to be the easiest option for me. Get a handy assistant to rev the engine to about 2000 RPM. Although then I decided that it was a bit unfair to get my assistant to hold the rev steady for a long period of time, so I used this method instead. Then squirt the cleaner in short bursts until the can is empty. You can hear the engine RPM lower with every squirt. If you squirt for too long, however, you may stall the engine, so be careful. This can was a little bit dribbly and making a bit of a mess, so a tissue around the top of the can solved the problem. It took me 20 long minutes to empty the can. When the can is empty, rev the engine a few times, turn the engine off and leave the cleaner to soak for about an hour. I ended up getting the cleaner all over the sensor hole and as I don't want to get the cleaner on the sensor when I put the sensor back in the hole, I took the pipe off to give it a good clean. If you do take one of these pipes off, make sure you cover up the holes with gloves to prevent things falling in them. This is what the inside of the intake pipe looked like before I gave it a clean. A lot of chemical on there which may get on the sensor. After I cleaned it, I put it back together and waited until the remaining time of the hour had finished, after which I took the car for a drive at motorway speeds for 10 minutes and once that was done, the process was complete. Well, that was easy. Did it work though? So I took the car to Rally Sport Automotive in Colchester where Shane took my intake manifold and charge cooler off the car so I can see what the valves look like. Here are the four holes to the valves. Click on the pop-out banner above to guess if the cleaner has made a difference. Cylinder one, valve one. Aha, I think the after photo looks worse. Let's move on to valve two. I think that's worse too. Certainly doesn't look any better. I'm gonna cycle through the rest of these before and after photos. In the meantime, you can click on the pop-out banner to give your opinion on which is cleaner, the before or the after. To get the before and after power figures, I took my car to Velocity Tuning in Colchester. The owner, Tommy, has built an award-winning BMW M5 with a thousand brake horsepower. That's 10 times the power of an average car on the rolling road to find out the power figure. Before I used CRC valve cleaner, it had 124 brake horsepower, when the car is supposed to have 138 from factory. Click on the pop-out banner to guess if there was a power increase. So Tommy, what's the results? The results are zero guns. To be honest with you, Tommy did five power runs to get that figure. The other four were actually down on power. They were lower than before. So all in all, I think my car has less power. So has this stuff worked? No, it hasn't cleaned my valves and that's what it's supposed to do. I'm not saying it's made my engine lose power. It's losing power gradually over time as the carbon builds up, but it hasn't cleaned the carbon off the valves. So I'm gonna to have to try a different method to clean the valves. I've already tried a hydrogen engine clean, that didn't work, and I've already tried one of these chemicals, one of the best ones on the market according to the internet, and that didn't work either. I'm hoping my next method will work because it's quite a bit more expensive. Anyway, that's all for this one. Like if you like it, and click subscribe if you wanna find out how I get on with this engine.